When life and stress has got you feeling down When the seriousness of life has drawn you away frown To write in your day there's a place you can go It's the Matthew and Ali Variety Show Here it is, uh, eight, just after 8.30 in the morning And Peter and I are waiting by a, another hotel in downtown for the uh, airport so they can take us down to the airport and I can ship out. Uh, we have about a half hour to go. So right now we're standing in the middle of BB Pong Hong. And that too. <laughs> Watching the buses go by. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty picture of some of the cities though. Sorry, I can only give you so much. There are buildings in the way. Hmm, I guess they make a city. Okay. Alright, I just went through security. Prior to that, I finished up breakfast with Peter. We went to the Burger King downstairs. It's not the best breakfast in the world, but considering what we had the choices of, it was the better breakfast. Uh, I went through security without a problem. I have all three of my boarding passes, so if anyone has a problem with uh, me on that, then uh, they're going to have, uh, I don't want to have a fit with them because I don't want to get bumped again. I'm tired of it, and hopefully I'll get home without any problems or delays. So, yep, see you later. Okay, well, I went through customs without a problem. I'm still here at the Toronto airport, and I have my boarding pass ready for Denver, so they just called the, in a few minutes we're going to be boarding. Um, hopefully, uh, when I get to Denver, everything will go fine, and I'll be in Boise at roughly 8.30 or so, I think is when I'm supposed to be there. Um, but I was wrong earlier. I did not get all three boarding passes. The third piece of paper was a receipt. So when I get to Denver, I have to go to the gate, whatever gate that may be, for my uh, plane, and get my final boarding pass from them. That should prove to be interesting. Oh well. The line was long at customs, but it went through pretty well. The longest wait was waiting for my baggage. And the guy keeps calling for people that don't aren't existing, so I'm going to let go now. Bye. Alright, boy, it's been a while since I last vlogged. Anyway, I am now in Denver, and uh, I got my final boarding pass that they didn't give me in Toronto, for some odd, or not Toronto, uh, sorry, Halifax. Because in Halifax, I got two boarding passes. I thought I got three. The third turned out to be a receipt. Uh, but I had the one from Halifax to Toronto and Toronto to Denver. And when I got to Denver, I asked them, and they said, when you get to Denver, go to a kiosk. Or go to your kiosk, and uh, they'll print you off the boarding pass for Denver to Boise. And I finally found somebody, because there wasn't anybody at my kiosk. And they told me I could go to a kiosk, and they would be able to print it off for me. So, that's what I did. I have my final pass. If they try and bump me, so help me, Hannah, I will hurt somebody. Um, but anyway, so far everything seems to be fine. Everything's going on time. And... Uh, I should be home in roughly two hours, no, three hours, excuse me. I should be home around a quarter after eight. So, yay. One more stop, home. Alright, I am home. I'm here in Boise and I'm waiting on my luggage. My sister's here, but she's waiting on one of the other baggage things because they already thrown some baggage out. Uh, as soon as I have that, I'm on my way home. Alright everyone, I am finally home. Um, it's 11.18 right now. No, I didn't get delayed. Well, not a big delay. Uh, my sister Karen picked me up and took me out to dinner after she got me, or after we got away from the airport. So it took some time getting home from there. I did have a minor delay. We had a delay of half an hour because of a strong headwind going from Denver to Boise. But not too bad. But guess what? They lost my luggage. Again. They lost my luggage going in, and they lost my luggage coming out. Going back home. 
Oh, brother. And this time, they don't even have the excuse of they bumped me and sent me to the wrong spot. Now it's just, well, it might be on the next flight. It might not. Because apparently there was one more flight out of Denver uh, that should be showing up around 11.30, which right now, it, like I said, it's a quarter after 11, so it's not even at the airport right yet. <sighs> so I filled out my baggage claim form, and uh, he said that if it arrives tonight, they'll call, and they might deliver tonight, or they might deliver tomorrow. I suppose they'll give me the option, if and when they call, to let me know that it is actually there. <sighs> it never fails, does it? I actually had a nice flight. Um, it was actually very comfortable. Uh, the final flight uh, was the only one they didn't say, Attention passengers, our flight is full. Would anybody like to remove themselves from their seat and jump onto a plane at a later time? This, the, the last flight was finally the only one they didn't have to ask that. I, I, I don't get it. Why, why do you ask for someone else to get a different seat when they've already paid for it? And if the plane is full, not over full, but full, they have a seat. It's confirmed. The plane can take the weight. If they weren't built for that, they wouldn't have that number of seats. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Sorry, a little bit of a rant there going, um, wait, these were built for however many people get on a plane, I don't know. What is it, between 60 and 100 people? I don't know. I suppose it would also depend on the size of the plane. The only uh, plane I didn't fly that, was, uh, that wasn't a big one was the first plane from Boise to Portland on my in trip. It was just a little puddle jumper. Had propellers on the wings and all that jazz. But everybody else was a really big one that was three seats on one side, three seats on the other. And, uh, yeah. Everybody else was a big one. But like I said, um, I'm home, I'm safe, and hopefully I will find out soon my luggage was too. That probably won't be on the vlog unless I include it sometime later. If I do, it won't be on this one. It'll be on something later in the week. Uh, but I'm home, so... The Matthew and Ollie Variety Show will continue sometime this Saturday. <laughs>